Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Affordable Flyers, Velocity Twin 6 makes first flight. Our eSport Plane Resource Guide Progress Report. And Rotor X Update, much rotor goodness. Welcome to Airborne Affordable Flyers, our programming designed to help you get and stay in aviation as affordably as possible. Overseen by the editorial staff of the award-winning Sportplane Resource Guide, we know well the challenges faced by today's sport flyers and we're here to help you enjoy flying to the utmost. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Velocity Twin 6 makes first flight. A much modified version of the Velocity V Twin has made its first flight in Sebastian, Florida, out of Velocity Aircraft's company HQ. Stretching a fiberglass slash carbon composite airframe 24 inches longitudinally and 4 inches both vertically and laterally is an ambitious undertaking, but one well suited to Velocity's decades of experience and aeronautical know how. The new aircraft is powered by a pair of UL520 six cylinder horizontally opposed turbocharged engines. The Belgian made 5,254cc air cooled direct drive gasoline engine employs dual electronic ignition and produces around 200 horsepower at 3,300 RPM. Velocity asserts the aircraft's six seat fuselage design allows for the fitting of a single pusher configuration engine for customers who are not multi engine rated or simply prefer the relative simplicity and economy of single engine platforms. Velocity currently offers three aircraft models the economical, sporty but small SE, the larger, more powerful, appositely named XL, and the eminently capable V Twin, which delivers performance and safety to those who fly at night, over mountains or large bodies of water, log serious IFR time, or just want the redundancy of a second engine. We'll have more info on this bird as they expand the test envelope beyond the first flight, but in the meantime, congrats to Velocity on building yet another stunning aircraft. Coming up after the break, Aeropup soon to fly in the U.S. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Aeropop soon to fly in U.S. We are awaiting details of the impending first flight of the Aeropup, a robust, fully customizable, go-anywhere, two-seat, stole LSA aircraft. The machine's rugged CNC precision manufactured chromium alloy tubular steel frame surrounds the occupant compartment, protecting those within after the fashion of a high-performance road vehicle's roll cage. U.S. Rep Don Fielden has been working feverishly to get the first U.S. bird ready for flight, though there are a number of variants elsewhere in the world. Bushliner replicates legendary Cessna. For fans of Cessna's beloved 180-185 series, there is now a kit version available. The Bushliner 1850 is designed to excel in both sport and utility flying with its non-stop 1,000 nautical mile flight capability. The Bushliner 1850 also boasts newly developed 48-inch aft cargo doors. These spacious doors make it incredibly convenient to transport and unload your gear, whether it's camping equipment, adventure gear, or any other cargo. The aircraft's 1,700-pound useful load allows you to customize the configuration to suit your specific mission requirements. More info upcoming. Dynan offers trade-in program to Skyview HDX. Dynan is looking to make some deals with operators for a new trade-in program that grants $1,000 for older 10-inch and 7-inch Skyview Classic, Touch, or SE displays. The program allows Skyview HDX buyers to return their older displays and get a $1,000 rebate on their new system, which could represent anywhere from one-quarter to one-third of the price of their new system at current prices. 10-inch displays nab more money, of course, with the smaller 7-inch ones netting only $700 back. The program is available only via Dynan. Cub Crafters sees 9% rise in stock value. 
Cub Crafters was proud of their recent stock valuation after the share price of its public offering was raised to $5.45 after some good news. In December 2022, the company began offering stocks at $5 a share, with a minimum buy-in of $400 per investor. Since that Regulation A-plus public offering, the company has ridden a wave of good news to see the share prices rise 45 cents. It's a victory for the little guys when much of the Part 23 and home-built industry lay almost entirely outside the stock market's purview. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. We are publishing ESPRG Progress Report. We've been promoting the forthcoming Sport Plane Resource Guide in an all-digital format for some weeks now, and we're happy to say that we're making excellent progress, with all primary book templates now approved and a couple of hundred pages laid out. The newest version of the ESPRG is a lot easier to read, offers extensive digital features, and will be even more comprehensive than the last version's 1,100 pages, with at least 2,000 pages already scheduled for the 2023 debut. The ESPRG will make aggressive use of video, audio podcasts, webinars, newsletters, and all manners of multimedia assets. We guarantee that nothing like this has ever been offered to the aviation community, and the ability to keep it updated hour by hour, day by day, is a huge asset by which we are dedicated to keeping you all informed, entertained, and educated. The ESPRG will be rolled out in stages, starting with the first 500 pages and then augmented by several hundred pages more each month until Phase 1 is complete, somewhere north of 2,000 pages, but with updates coming as fast as we can research and publish them. Pricing, release dates, and other info will be announced at Oshkosh. Coming up after these messages, Rotor X Update. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. Rotor X update, much rotor goodness. The Rotorway exec lives on and has evolved well, as evidenced by our chats with the company at Sun and Fun 2023. Now offered by Arizona-based Rotor X, their Phoenix A600 Turbo is a two-seat conventional helicopter featuring a two-blade main rotor and an aft boom mounted anti-torque rotor. The aircraft's ovular fuselage affords pilots excellent visibility and is supported by a twin skid undercarriage. By dint of its 180-horsepower turbocharged power plant, Rotorex's Phoenix A600 manages a maximum forward speed of 100 knots, a forward cruise speed of 83 knots, and maximum sideways and rearward speeds of 17 knots. The machine's 11,500-foot service ceiling and 7,000-foot hover-out-of-ground effect are excellent for a kit-built helicopter. The $118,000 for which the Phoenix A600 Turbo Kit retails includes an EFIS suite with GPS and an all-new 180-horsepower turbocharged engine featuring dual electronic ignition systems and dual engine control units. The helicopter may be upgraded with Rotorex's A600 Governor system, extended range fuel tanks, a cargo pod, an LED lighting package, lowered seats, air conditioning, and larger EFIS displays. The completed Phoenix A600 Turbo Helicopter's advertised 1,630-pound maximum gross weight comprises a 975-pound empty weight and a 655-pound payload. The latter value includes the aircraft's 17-gallon standard fuel capacity. Flight test upcoming. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.